Uh, we have Danny Simpson with us in the studio, of course, won the title at Leicester, that famous time they won it. Uh, you were just showing us uh, a video that Riyad Mahrez sent you. You asked, you questioned him whether or not the winner's medal has changed. And in his video, he sent back. Yeah, so he, <laughs> I said, oh, I'm sure the medal changed. And he just casually sent me a video. <laughs> so yes, him, oh, but there's our medal. And then obviously follow him with another three. Mm, <laughs> he's casually got four medals and all these and all these trophies awards. and he's, That's he's great. PFA players. Should we do? Should, let's talk Leicester now. I'm dying to talk Leicester. Yeah, let's talk Leicester. Um, did you feel at the beginning of the season? It's easy to look back. Look back now, but did you feel for one moment there was just something? Not you were going to win the league, but something a little bit special about that squad or not? No. It just felt like a normal season. No, I think I think the way we finished the season before, obviously the you know just avoiding relegation. Mm. Um, I think we won what is it maybe eight out of eleven games to to survive. I think not that did that gave us like maybe the belief and the confidence that why don't we treat them games from the start of the season? You know, why why do we do it at the last ten or twelve games when you know when we're fighting and scrapping? We've got to do it from the start. Mm. And I think that was that was our attitude really. Like, don't give these teams respect. You know we, that was our first season in the league, and I think it just gave everyone a lift that. You know, we can beat teams on any given day. So we kind of went in with, with that kind of vibe, really. We'll, we'll talk about the whole season and what happened at the end. But do you remember the first time that someone actually whispered the words, I think we can do it? Or, or, was, it sort of, or was it a sort of like, no one, just no one talk about it? Yeah, no one talk about it. You it, couldn't even... It was, there, yeah. there must have been a moment where you sort of turned to Casper Michael and went, <laughs> I think we've got a chance here. No, I no, was too scared. Really? Yeah, it was... We let you know Claudio deal with the media, and we just—I know it's this cliche. I'll take the next game, but it literally was like, you know, what the noise was outside, and we were just trying to focus on the next game. I know it's what everyone says. It was when you look back at the team. I'm trying to think of the team now. So it's Schmeichel, you, Huth, Morgan, Fuchs, yeah, yeah. Drinkwater, and Gullo, yeah. Mares, All Brighton, Vardy, Vardy. Vardy. Okasaki would play, Saki. Would play yeah. as well. Was that was that probably the best, the best eleven? I mean, there was one or two others that would come in and out, but it was almost like every week, yeah. same team played, same team played, same team played. That's what it felt like. Was that was that how it was? Yeah, and it felt like it was the same subs as well. <laughs> was it the same, <laughs> yeah. on the same, same minute? Same minute. Like like an alarm went off. Shinji yeah. Okazaki, sixty yeah. minutes. He's coming <laughs> off me. <laughs> Listen, he's ran, you know, he's ran himself yeah. into the ground. Like and he, did, he, he would. Worked. He sucks and off. He you know, and it was like sixty minutes. Right, he's off. Yeah. Uh, Ajo are on. Um, you know Leonardo with Joa who yes. played a massive part. Yes. Um, Jeffrey Schlup would come on, Schlupp, that's right. a bit of pace. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. And Andy King would come on, King just maybe shore yeah. things up in midfield. Yeah. It was they were the subs really. Um, but yeah, we every it was good because I think everyone, you know, sometimes when a sort of player's not in the team and he's obviously upset and whatever, and it can upset the group. Everyone kind of knew what was what. Right, and everyone, even the subs, knew they expected to be on the yeah, bench, and knew. you expect and Vardy expected yeah. to play, and that's the way. It, yeah. and yeah. You had some incredibly together. special players in that side, right? Let's talk about N'Golo Kante. When when he when you first saw him, what was your initial reaction? Because he went on to be one of the greatest holders we've ever seen, right? Well, he's not a holder; he's a box to box. Yeah, but, that's yeah. The, but he, he can do, but he can do yeah. anything. There's yeah. nothing he can't do. Yeah, he's a... But you, I mean, no one could get past him. He'd always get the ball and then give it to drink water or whoever's in front of him. But when the first time you saw him, did you think, "Wow, this kid's special"? No, not not in training. Not until I think he played left wing or right wing in a game. And one of our centre mids, I think it would happen at Stoke. I think it was a Gokan Inla. He was having a bit of a beast, so and he did, he got dragged off at half time, and he put in goal on centre mid. And ev that second half, everyone was like, "Oh my god, yeah. who's this? Right, where's this kick our lad been for the last, you know, in pre season and everything?" And so, so when he came to the club, he wasn't bought as a midfielder. No, he was bars of midfielder, but yeah. what, for that ever game, he put him on. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, he just happened. He just pushed him out, thinking he's probably too small to be, you know, playing in the centre mid in the Premier mm -hmm. League. He went into centre mid, and it was like Jesus, he's found his home. Who, who is this? I've never. I just sent Danny in the back. I've never seen Danny, anyone. Danny, Danny, him, Danny. Oh, right. yeah, me. <laughs> but I'm saying I've never, and you played with him. I've never seen anyone win the ball back mm. so consistently and so well ever in world football. He, he is an absolute phenomenon. Mm. No, he is. He's a is one off, you know. If you you ask me, you know, one of the best players I've played with, he's up there for mm. me. Is he uh, quiet? 
He's quiet, yeah. yeah. Unassuming. Very shy. What cars he drive? Yeah, he's got a mini, hasn't he? But you know what I love <laughs> that about probably looks massive <laughs> to him. <laughs> 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 they probably told him to him going, this is a Bentley, you know don't what? worry about that. But you know what I love about him? Obviously, you would have seen him, obviously, when more trophies with Chelsea and uh, obviously France. And he's too, he doesn't even want to hold the trophy. No, he doesn't, does he? He's like, he gets shy. Like, yeah. he's scared to... I think it was, you know, was, it, it, was it the World, World Cup? Cup Some, the someone same. had to push him at the front. Right. Go on, you've won it. Go and hold the World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Why is he like that? It's just who he is. And, you know, I love him. You know, I'm sure, obviously, Leicester fans love him. Chelsea fans yeah, love him. I mean, he's, he's one of the greatest him. ever, right, he's, in that position. Honestly. He's, uh, he's better than, so, Makaleli, who played a similar role, yeah, but slightly the, different. The role named after him. He's better than him. He's the best yeah, ball. He's yeah. the best ball winning midfielder I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why everyone says he's like having two players. He is. Yeah. You know, we used to cover, you would, know, Riyad Mahrez s- and help me out because we used to leave Riyad up there. So, would, would you say this is a horrible question and there might not be an answer, but for that season, would you say he was the most important cog in that wheel? I mean, it's, it may, it, maybe there wasn't one because, you know, Vardy was, you were, Drinkwater was, Hooth yeah, was, yeah, you know, they, Schmeichel was, they all were. But if, if there was one player that was missing that would cause you problems, would it have been him? I think if you look at the way we played, um, sitting deep, counter-attack, you know, having him in front of us, I think Robert Hooth said he'd give him a couple more years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You know, because he's sat in front yeah. and he's just yeah. sweeping everything up. So I think for us, obviously he can play anyway, as you said, mm-hmm. but I think for us sit, sat in deep, teams trying to break us down, the way he wins the ball back, as we just mentioned, is Ridiculous. you know I've never seen anything like it. And then we could counter attack with mm. Riyad and, mm. and obviously Vlad. Please, please tell me you've still got a WhatsApp group with all the winners from that season in it. Um, not all, but we've still got quite a big. Have you? Group. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's it called? Um, in fact, what is it called? I'm getting it up look. actually. Yeah. So we've got Harry in there, Ben Chilwell still in there. Or even people that have left, yeah, yeah they're still nice. off even contact. I actually don't think I can repeat what it's called. Okay. <laughs> it's not called <laughs> up the winners. Or like it's got a comedy no, no, name. No. Actually, no, I can't repeat what okay, it's called. Okay, but you can show me in the break. Yeah, I'll okay. show you. Yeah. Can we get anyone on? Is there, is there anyone we can phone now? Yeah, if you phone someone on your who phone. Who can you phone I'll now? You, have a think in this break, right? <laughs> who's most <laughs> likely, <laughs> the biggest name that's most likely to pick up. All right? I have a think. Okay, have a think. <laughs> I'd love to ring and go, though. Would he pick it up? Probably wouldn't with these. I don't know. You know better oh, than we do. Think, have a think. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we'll try and go to Canto when we come back, yeah? Well, right, we'll see. How embarrassing if they don't. No one picks it up. Can you? I know, yeah. Sorry, I haven't got your number. Who is this?